What's going on guys? Alex with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Wii Knives Evoke. This is a Ray Laconico design uh, and this knife is loaned in via the Apex Passone Group. So as always, shout out to Apex, uh, shout out to David over at Blade Manor for always getting knives in uh, and regulating the group pretty smoothly. Um, so thank you David for always you know doing what you're doing for us and I always appreciate it. Um, but yeah, this is the Wii Knives Evoke. Um, and before I guess we get started, you guys can see I am back doing some side-by-side -side reviews. Um, I've put off doing reviews. It's later in the week. I'm uh, filming this on Wednesday. Um, I've just been pretty busy the last two days. We were working a uh, real quick two-day job a little bit farther um, away than where I normally work. So I just had more travel and stuff involved. I didn't get home until later in the afternoon. So if I'm being frank, I didn't really feel like, you know, getting the... Um, getting the phone out, getting the tripod out and filming and stuff like that. But today um, we were back to our you know typical area and it's a beautiful day. It's like 75, 80 degrees um, here in Western Pennsylvania. So I was like, you know what, let's go take advantage, bust a couple videos out in the side by side. Um, it is a little windy today. So hopefully you guys are able to hear it. Okay. Um, I think I found a good spot to where the wind is blowing, um, you know, not causing a lot of havoc. And plus I have the windshield behind me. Um, you guys can see I have you know, the, the plastic uh, winter like um, uh, cab basically still on the side by side. My dad hasn't taken it off yet, which is kind of helping the wind. Um, so again, hopefully you guys can hear everything okay. But uh, you guys know I do a lot of side by side reviews in the summer. I just really like to take advantage of, you know, the warm weather, the natural light. Um, and it's just a good, you know, I get to go out and do my own thing in my own space. Um, so I, you know, find a nice spot on the property and here I am. But Back to the review, um, the Wii Evoke. This thing is pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's it's a Laconico design, guys. You know, I've this is actually the only the second no. I've reviewed a couple MBKs. Um, I've had a couple MBKs. You know, Ray and uh, Sanford Owen are you know collaborators on that. But I've had the um, oh I just I just sold it the Wii uh, Esprit. I just got rid of that knife. I wasn't carrying it a ton. I'm you know I'm just. You guys know moving stuff to, to get new stuff in um so when i saw this pop up on the uh, apex slack group i was like oh, i really want to check it out uh, i finally got to check it out and it is a really i, I like it um it's slim you know it's fidgety it's slicey um and that's kind of the first impression before i get into materials before i get into action ergos carry you know my typical review stuff that's kind of the first thing that i really want to point out to you guys is it really impressed me how thin this knife was um, you know, a lot of Ray's designs, they're very similar, but they're different at the same time. But you guys can always pretty much tell when it's a, when it's a Laconico design. Um, so I have a little allergies are getting to me today. Uh, actually this whole week. Uh, so if I sound a little stuffed up, I have a little postnatal drip going on, but get a little sip of water there. All right. Um, what was I saying? Oh, it's a, if it's a Laconico design, you guys can always kind of tell Ray's design language. Um, I like a lot of his stuff. You know, it's it's very simple, very utilitarian, very, you know, just it flows nice. Uh, and I think the Evoke is, you know, very in line with that. I guess we're going to jump right into materials. So you have a, I believe, 20 CV blade. Um, I actually never thought to look at the, um, the you know, specific blade steel. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's 20 CV. That's what we use a lot of the time on their um, premium models. And I just I just looked it up before I came outside because I wanted to double check the price point on it. Um, and you think I would have checked, but no, I didn't. Um, so that's on me. But I believe it's 20 CV. And usually they're on the um, on the knife, but this does not seem to have it anywhere. So that again is on me. You know, blame me if you want. But I believe it's 20 CV. You have a I think they're classifying it as a clip point, but it has a little bit of a bowiness too. So it's it's a combination, in my opinion, of a clip point and a bowie. Um, a very nice swedge build on top here. Comes down to a pretty thin edge. You know, it's it's a pretty thin blade stock, but I've definitely felt thinner blade um, thicknesses behind the edge. But it's definitely you know slices fine. Um, it worked out well for me with you know some paper tests, Amazon packages. Um, you know, I did a little bit of cardboard. Nothing too heavy. Um, you know, it's I don't do a whole lot of you know hard use with my knives, but it cuts well for my needs. You know, I performed up to my tasks, had a good edge on it. And I don't know, I think I've, it's already been to a few channels before. So, you know, it's been through a little bit of, you know, work and, you know, processing before I got the knife. Um, but beautiful blade, 
pretty, th you know, decently thin grind, nice wedge. Um, I'm not a huge clip point or Bowie style, you know, fan, um, but I think it flows very well with the overall, you know, aesthetic of the knife. You obviously have dual thumb studs that are anode to match the blue tie, um, full blue tie body with the Wii pivot. Mill titanium pot clip that is only righty carry, so sorry to you lefties out there. You have some relief cuts cut in right there. It is a frame lock on bearings. Uh, then you also have a front flipper up there, which juts out very, very nicely. Don't want to talk to Siri, but the front flipper works well. Um, it's on, like I said, bearings. There is no internal milling going on, um, but honestly, it's it doesn't really affect it that much. Like for the size of the knife, um, the blade length is, I believe, 3.48 inches. So a three and a half inch blade. Um, you know, it's, I believe it weighs right around 3.5 to four ounces, somewhere in that ballpark. But it doesn't, could it have, you know, skeletonized um, or internal milling going on in, you know, in the titanium? Sure. But honestly, it doesn't need it. Like I'm not, you know, yearning for this to have, you know, a lighter carry. Um, cause I never, you know, never thought that, never really, you know, gave it too much thought on how heavy it was. But now the wind's picking up so you know hopefully you guys are able to hear but i'm sorry if there's some muffles you know and some some weird um, noises going on but we're just gonna keep trucking through um yeah i think that's all for materials uh there is a lock bar <coughs> excuse me a lock bar um, interface um screwed in right there and i think there might be an over i don't know if that's an over travel stop or i was it's, it's always hard to tell from you know from my perspective with those um backspacer right there with a lanyard tote or tote with a lanyard post and yeah i believe that's all for materials so we are going to jump on next to action and the action on this is phenomenal um you know we can be kind of hit or miss with their detents the last couple of knives that i've had have been pretty good but i've seen other people videos other people's videos that have been, you know, sort of weak, sort of on the, you know, the lighter side. But I've always had pretty good, you know, luck with getting solid detents. Uh, and this is, you know, following suit with those previous weed knives that I've had in. Um, but you guys can hear, pops back into place very nicely. I always like to show you guys this just because, you know, there's, it, it's nice to hear that, you know, resounding pop. Um, but we'll try the thumb flick fires out very very well can you um you know misfire and not deploy it sure i just tried to do it that time but i did it i mean you really have to like barely push out and and try to not deploy the knife because as long as you pull it out of your pocket bang you're gonna open it up um very very nice i like the way the thumb studs are placed in like the the good grip just kind of use these back couple fingers to grip on to the the clip you know just use this as kind of a, a support and just it bangs right out uh, middle finger flick also works very well flies right out of there very satisfying you can index finger flick it as well kind of just climb down use those fingers of you know the support fingers on the clip and it just pops right out and then you have the front flipper um, and that also works very well. Um, sometimes it's hard to nail the deployment for a knife that has multiple deployment methods. Like sometimes you see, I'm um, using this for as an, as an example, but like the Vosteed uh, Labrador, no, not the Labrador, the Vosteed uh, Valkyrie. It had, you know, the back flipper, the front flipper, uh, and dual thumb studs and a button lock. Um, but that knife had a great detent and it was tuned pretty well, in my opinion, for, for all three deployment methods. Um, technically four, including the button method if you hold it in and flip it open. Um, but sometimes companies, you know, with multiple deployment methods on their knives, hone in more so on one deployment method and make the detents differ for say, you know, maybe a thumb flick or a middle finger flick, but then they'll make the detent, you know, too stiff or too light for the front flip or for the back flipper. Um, but in this case, I think we, you know, nailed it. Um, it's very nice. I like the way it just straight and straight it's it's basically a 90 degree angle you have some jipping right there but it just pops um, i kind of just find myself right on the corner i kind of build pressure and then it just pops right out um you know very satisfying very fun to fidget with um and that's kind of been you know a lot of raised knives recently um in the production realm have been you know sort of like yeah i can just tell like looking at it the way you know, this just, just kind of flows like a ray design. Um, the front flipper and studs, this looks basically, like if you were to just look at the top part of this knife, this looks 
really similar to the Sakoki that just came out that I would like to review at some point and the Esprit. Um, the tops of those three knives, the Esprit, the Evoke, and the Sakoki look very, very similar in my opinion. Um, they all have his his front flipper, which is they're all squared off, and they all have studs. Um, so very, very similar there, but in, similar in a good way because those knives, well, at least the Evoke that I have here and the um, Esprit that I had before and sold, very, very good knives. And I've heard a lot of good things about the Sakoki being one of CVV's best budget models. Well, CVV is a budget brand, but one of best, one of CVV's best models in, you know, a while. Um, so I've had nothing, heard nothing but good things from them. I am stumbling over my words today, guys. I apologize. Um, but then with the lock bar, you have plenty of room there to, to get your thumb in. Um, no complaints at all with the lock bar access and it just drops right to your thumb bang Shake shot you could either do the one shake like I like to do. That's, that's typically what I do You drop it and then kind of go boop uh, Or there's a mosquito is biting me or you can do you know a series of micro shakes I do that once in a while, uh, but I you know typically prefer just a nice clean drop um, It's kind of satisfying to get like this so it's not a guillotine, like you're not going to sit there and, you know, just barely move it and it's going to drop shut. Um, but it's a nice control drop. And I really, really like the way knives handle when they have control drops. Sure, I love a good guillotine to where it's just going to go, whoop, and it's just going to completely drop shut and, you know, almost cut your finger off. Those knives are fun. Um, but I, I think, you know, if I had to choose one or the other, I definitely would prefer a nice control drop. Um, just because they're satisfying, uh, the, you know, they're nice in their own way. Um, and you know, there is no blade play at all. This thing is locked up pretty tight. I mean, if you torque down real hard, there might be a smidgen of movement. Um, but for how smooth this thing is, uh, it is locked up tighter than a bank vault. And like I said, it's been to probably four or five channels by now, uh, before me. And you know, that's why it's, it's nice getting a pass around knife sometimes when there's people in ahead of you, um, because it's, you know, gives the time, gives the knife time to be flicked and fondled and fidgeted with and, and broken in. Uh, and it makes it for, makes for a really nice, smooth, um, deployment and closing method. So action on the um, Evoke, very, very good. Next up is Ergos. The Ergos on this thing are, it's a Laconico, guys. You guys already know it's going to be probably pretty damn comfortable, uh, and this knife definitely is. It's very simple design. You know, you have on the scales pretty much a straight back here. You do have a little bit of a curvature and a little bit of a hump in the middle, uh, but it's pretty flat. And then you have a, a um, indentation here for your finger. You do kind of have like a little bit of a landing choil up there. Um, it's not, you know, it's not the best choil in the world, but it works. And then you have pretty much a straight back here with a kind of curvature going on at the back. But I can fit all four fingers on here with probably room for another pinky if I had one uh, very, very comfortably. You do have a little bit of jimping up top here, but that's more from the front flipper than for actual use itself. Because um, again, you do have a swedge, swedge built on the top there. Very comfortable in hand, um, very ergonomic, very, very, you know, just neutral. Um, the pot clip is very flush to the scales. So you're not gonna have any too many, have any or, you know, too many hot spots there. Um, you know, I can't really feel it at all. And then you can choke up if you're going to be doing some more precise like push cuts or, you know, you have to be careful what you're doing. This definitely fits well. Um, I have so much room in the back now. Uh, it's very comfortable as well. But the titanium is nicely finished, has nicely rounded and contoured edges. Um, you know, the Wii's fit and finish is pretty dang good nowadays. I have no complaints at all. Pot clip, I've already kind of gone over, but sits very, very flush to the scales. Um... And just a very neutral knife. It's it's comfortable lefty. Um, if you had to, you know, do some 7-Eleven slurpy fights with Kevin uh, on Saturday night, you can do so. Um, it's very comfortable in the reverse hammer grip. Normal hammer grip, um, a push grip, or a push grip, a pinch grip. Um, you know, my, my typical pinch grip is the pinky, excuse me, the pinky. Pinky's over here. The thumb and the middle finger, and then I use my pointer finger as a, you know, sort of guide. Uh, that's very comfortable as well. You know, getting down into Amazon packages, ripping open tape, um, you know, this probably wouldn't be the best knife to cut labels out because you'd have to crank your arm the whole way up here, but you could do it. And I think the pinch grip would work really well there. Um, so all in all, Ergos are fantastic. Um, it's very comfortable, fits my hand very, very well. I typically don't, you know, gravitate towards three and a half inch knives. Um, all that much. I have a few, you know, decent sized knives in my collection, but I much prefer, you know, that 3.15 to, to 3.3 is kind of my sweet spot for knives. Um, 
But one pro of having, you know, bigger knives is it makes for a very, very, typically a very, very good ergonomic experience. Uh, and the Evoke is, you know, definitely right, you know, on par with, with being very comfortable in hand, um, very user friendly when, you know, doing specific cuts. Uh, so two thumbs up, no complaints at all, as I almost dropped the knife. No complaints at all from me on the ergo department. That leads me to my category where I like to talk about something called carry. <sighs> Fidgeting with this knife today, guys. Um, but you know what? Who cares? I just feel good to be outside. I feel good to be filming. It's been like a week and a half since I filmed. Not a week and a half. About a week since I filmed. Um, but I know you guys are just going to, you know, chuckle at me. And, you know, my, my true viewers and stuff like that are going to watch me and, you know, just laugh along the way with me. Not at me. With me. Um, another quick swig of water. And we will get to carry. As I said earlier, you know, there's no skeletonizing. There's no milling going on on the... Um, titanium scales but for the size of the knife i think the weight fits it very well um and this thing carries awesome in pocket you know the the pock clip is just a, a standard milled clip from we um you guys have seen a million of these before so it drops in the pocket it carries about that much is sticking up out of your pocket you know what i've loved to seen one of their like milled titanium clips that are loop over style you know, from a carry perspective, yeah. Um, from an ergo standpoint, probably not because these always feel really good in the hand. And I think it does look good from an aesthetic standpoint. Um, it just kind of flows with the knife. So, you know, I, I always love deep carry knives. I love when my knives are shoved down in my pocket and you cannot see any of the scale um, or anything sticking about. But for, for some reason on this knife, it kind of just, it goes with it. Um, so I'm okay with it. Uh, it gives a little bit of something to grab onto. But nice detent on the... Uh, the clip nice spring pops in on your over your pocket uh, i only carry this in my front right pocket of my my jeans i do not really carry this too much in my gym shorts uh maybe once uh you know one random day throughout the throughout the house i did but um i carry this primarily and you know pretty much only in my front right pocket of my jeans but it pops right down in you have no flipper tab or anything going on here to catch if you have to go down below for you know change coin change i always say that change and coins are the same thing change chapstick medicine of um, anything you know keys that you might have down below um you're just going to go in grab what you have to grab and then boop, back out you know your knife's going to stay put um so it just it carries well could it have had a reverse pot clip or a filler tab over here absolutely um you know the knife really isn't curved anything special like it's it's pretty much straight so you definitely could have put that knife on the other side um but again you know i think i said this one of my reviews before um i guess they pr probably don't well no they definitely had milled clips or uh reversible clips on frame locks but for some reason my brain slung me okay it's a frame lock you're not going to have a um, reversible clip because that's just kind of I don't know why my brain telling me that, but I've definitely seen, I think, frame locks before with, you know, reversible clips, but I could be wrong there. Um, but regardless, it carries well, you know, for the, for the size of the knife, I think the weight is very much adequate for it. Uh, so no complaints at all there. Um, and it, you know, is it the best carrying knife I've ever handled before? No, but it, it does it very well. Um, and again, no complaints at all from, for me and the carry department. So that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. Price point on these, um, I just checked White Mountain Knives before I came up here to do the video. Uh, they go for $219. This specific version is sold out, but I'm going to leave a link in the description down below uh, to the whole Evoke, you know, sort of selection on um, White Mountain Knives. I believe every other option is available. Um, there's like a, a darkened uh, bronze version. There's a um, blackened tie version. And I think there's some damage steel versions. Uh, I believe there's five or there's, there's six of them. Um, but I think 219 for this knife is, is very, you know, right in the ballpark of what, you know, a, a good value is, um, right around that 200 to $225 price point, you're getting 20 CV milled or sorry, milled tie. I'm looking at the, the clip, but I'm talking about the scales, um, milled tie clip. You have very nice anodized blue titanium scales, nice frame lock makes for a great action with the thumb studs and the front flipper um so all that combined i think that's you know it's very fair um and if you use someone's code like kevin uh lefty 10 or uh you know knives fast uh, casey has a code a lot of people have codes for white mountain knives you can knock 10 percent off of your purchase that would get you down closer to 200 and i think that's you know again very very good um 
Am I going to run out and buy one? No, I, I like the knife. I really like the knife, but I didn't love the knife, so I'm not going to be going and purchasing one. Um, I just have some other stuff I need to save up for uh, and some other knife purchases I want to make. So I won't be going out and buying one, but I'll definitely miss this knife. There'll be some point where I'll be like, man, I really miss you know, the Evoke and, you know, it's just a good knife, guys. Good price point, good materials, good build quality, good detent. Um, we killed it, Ray killed it. Uh, you know, just everything combined was just a good, it's a good package. It's a good knife. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I think you guys should go check it out. Link in the description down below to the Evoke page. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. Um, you know, I think this, again, I'm gonna leave you with my final sentence, my final thought in the knife. Great knife, comfortable. You know, great materials. Those are multiple sentences, but who cares? Um, just a really good package, and I definitely would, you know, if you guys are on the fence, go check one out. You're probably going to enjoy it. I know I did. Uh, but again, link in the description down below to the Evoke. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to wrap it up. So this was my full review of the Ray Laconico Design We Evoke. Um, just a really cool knife, a cool package. Um, you know, everything about it, no complaints at all. Um, so uh, again, link down below. And as always, Blue Creek Knives is linked down below and Barnes Craft Designs is linked down below. Please use code 814EDC for 10% off of your purchase at Blue Creek Knives and 15% off of your purchase at Barnes Craft Designs. Helps you, helps me, helps Brian, and helps Holden. It is a win, 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 as I like to always say. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to wrap this up now before I start rambling. And you guys know what I, what I do when I ramble. So um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.